Hey YouTubers, it's Sweet Susie coming at with you with a quick tarot trip. Uh, quick tarot trip. Oh God, I don't want to do a whole bunch of hot takes, so uh, it's a quick tarot tip. Um, I recently had somebody ask me about uh, ways of like learning easier somebody that's getting ready to go into tarot um i'm no means in any position to teach anybody anything but um she wanted me to show her uh something that could like maybe spark intuition or keywords whatever so i took the deck i like least which you guessed it is Rider Waite Smith. I do not jive at all with this deck. It is not my favorite deck. I've probably said that in plenty of videos here of late. I just don't care for Rider Waite. But I like the Rider Waite Smith system. I do like, you know, decks that follow the system. So, with that being said, what I have done to my Rider Waite Smith deck is I take keywords uh, and I used uh, Rachel Pollux and I wish I would have brought it out here uh, but I didn't but it it's uh, Rachel Pollux book and it's basically the Rider Waite Smith cards and their meanings that's pretty much all that book was um, but you take the keywords and write them on the back. Now, see, I've left room for when I uh, <clears throat> try to pull more for intuition. That way I can write what it means to me. So I've left room. Um, I really, uh, to be honest, I haven't used this deck. So that's why I haven't uh, done any more as far as, you know write anymore but like you know basically the keywords that are in Rachel Pollock's book I've written on the back to help me out now I do occasionally flip through this deck and read the keywords and you know kind of like a refresher or whatever but um my uh, biggest thing is, it's just like uh, you hear a lot of people say in the witchy community, do what works for you. And I'm saying it with the tarot, you do what works for you. You get a lot of people in tarot, just like you do in witchcraft. You should do it this way. You're supposed to do it this way. Blah, 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 blah. You get a lot of that crap. I'm saying, and a lot of others, uh, <clears throat> I like to watch, say, make it your own. Do it, you know, what what's right for you. Because uh, you're going to do a lot of learning in tear and a lot of learning in um, the witchy field. And there are many people that learn in different ways uh, just like when you're going to school you got people who are the book you know they they learn better by reading then you got people that don't do so well with reading they're hands-on and then you got people who have to hear uh hear and see and on and on and on. I mean, there's just like so many different ways of learning things. You know what I'm saying? Not everybody is the same. So I hope this helps you, hun. Um, but it was just a quick tip for tarot. Uh, nothing more. And I don't have anything else to add. I mean, you can learn a lot from the tarot books that are out there. I have quite a few that I'm going to eventually do reviews on. Um, <clears throat> I just haven't got around to it. But that that's what I did, a little trick I did for the Rider Waite Smith since we didn't jive so well. 
I went ahead and put uh, index cards and keywords on the back. And no, I did not glue them. Uh, I did it with tape because, you know, th since they're glossy, the tape's going to peel off that easy. No damage to your deck. No damage to your deck is done, though. And uh, another thing I did, because I am horrible, horrible, horrible at, uh, uh, what's that called? Roman numerals. To help me a little better, I put the actual number. Like, that 17. So, I wrote 17 in the bottom of the cart. So, this deck is, like, now basically useless to anybody but me. But, um... I basically turned it into my learning deck. So I would probably never turn these over to anybody unless they're really wanting to learn and really wanting a, a deck, you know, to learn from. Then I would probably do it. But um, that was just my little tip. And if you have any other little tips you want to add, just go ahead and uh, put those down in the comment section. And as always, I hope y'all having a beautifully blessed day and many blessings. Bye.